Hooked up, fish on. Awesome fall day out here. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video. We're gonna be giving away one of these right here. Pissy Fun Carbon X 2000. One of my absolute standby reels. It is fall out here. We're doing some fall fishing. Stay tuned, it's gonna be exciting. Spot number one, we are looking for fish. And look at this, we are already actually seeing a few fish. Which leads me to believe there's probably gonna be a big wad of them somewhere. All right, this is looking decent. Oh yeah, this is definitely what we want. Waypoint, I already got the trolling motor down going right into the wind, so this is gonna be perfect here gonna kind of putt a little bit farther and there is no shortage of life here I'm gonna kick it in reverse right there spot lock and I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here so the bullets in 30 feet right now this tops like 27 you can see all these marks you go over down imaging all these marks which leads me to believe it is definitely that time of year where fish are starting to group up out here and that is exactly what we're looking for. All right, what is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and you might notice what I'm wearing. I have gloves on, I have multiple layers on, I have bibs on, I have long underwear on. It is fall. I don't know what happened in the last three days, but it went from being like summer uh, to being like late October. Absolutely crazy. And I have been musky fishing the last several, probably the last week here with some success and I've not been on the walleye grind lately and uh, I'm excited to be back out chasing walleyes today up here in northern Wisconsin. And uh, we are gonna be fishing a the fall classic, the jig and the minnow. Classic presentation, but it's really the specifics about how you're fishing this, where you're fishing this, that are gonna get you more bites. And uh, that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today, hopefully. Like I said, I haven't been out doing this for a while, so this might be the first shot at a video that we, you know, doesn't happen, I have no idea. But if you're watching this, you can be assured that it happens. So that's kind of the plan. It is crazy. The water temp has dropped 10 degrees in the past uh, week here, and uh, it's just crazy, unbelievable. I've never seen a, like a Labor Day that first week of September like this, but uh, I like fall. Hopefully you guys like fall fishing, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys get some beneficial things about fishing this fall time period with the jig in a minnow. Stay tuned. All right, cast number one. Just pitching a eighth ounce Kalen's Google Eye with a little sucker on it. And that is gonna be the plan, hopefully. And we're just gonna hopefully do this until we catch a few of them. Oh my gosh, first cast. Just gonna give him a second to eat if I didn't already pull it out of his mouth. And fish on, first cast, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Fall is here. Fall is one of those seasons I wish lasted about six months. What do we got on here? I think we got a smallmouth, not a walleye. That's all right, they both eat the jig. Look at that thing, just digging, digging. It's one of the coolest parts about fall. So you get a lot of these big smallmouth and big walleyes sitting on the same spots. This is not a super big smallmouth here, but it's a decent little scrapper and he won't quit. He is not giving up. He's still not giving up. Come here, buddy. I don't have this much time today. There we go. Just ate that little jig. Not a monster smallmouth, but first cast. Fall has arrived. We'll take it. Let's let that guy go. Right there. Fish on. Third cast of the day. I can tell you, I believe we got the right fish on. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Fall walleye fishing. Fall got sprung on us a little earlier than I kind of, than anybody really thought it would. But man, 
I miss jig bites. There's a million ways to fish for a walleye. From trolling to slip bobber and lindy rigging, doing all sorts of stuff, but I don't think anybody who does a lot of walleye fishing is gonna complain about a good old fashioned jig bite. And that is one of my absolute favorite parts about fall. Um, it is quite a bit of, especially as it gets colder, um, sucker fit or using suckers or using like chubs or creek or, you know, kind of whatever you can get here in Wisconsin. We don't get much in the way of uh, like red tails or stuff like that. But walleye suckers, beautiful Northwoods walleye right there. Awesome fall fish and that's what we're chasing. And it's too much fun. And really from here on out, it's only going to get better and better and better. There you go. See you later, buddy. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about here is the rigging. Rod, reel, line, jig, what are we doing here, right? And uh, this is kind of your standard, this is the same live bait rod I use for almost everything when I'm fishing a jig and a minnow, right? And uh, so the rod wise is the Elliott Rod 7 foot 3 medium light fast action. I'll link it down below. I'm not sure if they're in stock. If you can get your hands on one, you will absolutely love it. Spring, summer, fall, anytime you're really jigging live bait or really kind of that halfway finesse or finesse setup rod, it is perfect for that. It's one of those rods that has a million different applications just because it's a great finesse rod, right? So that's what I'm using. And the, the big thing is, I'll try to get it in the camera here. I'm gonna have to move over a little bit. You can see the tip load on this rod. It loads very nice and very light. And uh, the, the main reason you want that is number one, if you if you go to jig and there's a fish on there and you load that tip up, that fish will not detect that, right? And a lot of times what you might have happen is you might jig and you'll feel that weight and you'll kind of feel the fish going boom, boom, boom. And then you obviously you kind of drop the rod and set the hook on that fish. So incredibly sensitive, incredibly lightweight. And uh, it's kind of the perfect jig and minnow rod. Now real, we got the Pissy Fun Carbon X 2000 on there. Tried and true, standby. I don't know how many of these I've had. I've never broke one. Phenomenal reel for the price point. And at the end of the video, we're gonna be giving one of these things away. I put these on all my walleye, all my smallmouth, all my multi-species rods that require spinning reels. So awesome reel there, super lightweight, fits the rod perfectly. Now line-wise what I'm running on here is 10 pound braid and that's uh, suffix 830, no, suffix performance braid is what I like. And I run a ton of that stuff. You guys always ask what kind of line I run. And uh, suffix, it's just a really nice round line that I have never really had problems with for the last four or five years. So really like that. My leader, I do go a little bit heavier on my leader. I go 12 to 15 pound fluoro on the leader and I tie in uni knot to uni knot and double uni, uh, like a four or five foot section of that. And the reason I like to have a little bit stiffer um, fluorocarbon leader on is because I'm fishing a lot of rock. I'm dragging that jig through rock, number one. So it's it's got much more abrasion resistant at a stronger strength. Number two, I set the hook hard on a jig and minnow with a bigger minnow in deep water, right? And the reason for that is these fish are deep. I really want to set the hook good. It's not like I'm pitching a real finesse thing up into a foot of water, you know, a couple feet of water in the spring and I can just kind of lean into them. This time of year, definitely setting the hook hard. And one thing that has happened is a lot of times you might have that fish hit and that jig will get like kind of all turned around in his mouth. If you can imagine the jig kind of like this in a walleye's mouth, right? I want to be setting that hook real hard so it kind of snaps and uh, it, it gets a clean, however that jig's positioned, it gets a clean um, movement basically right into the top of that fish's mouth or wherever I end up hooking them. But um, that's kind of the reason there. And because they are bigger minnows, um, a lot of times they will kind of get all jumbled up in a fish's mouth, especially when you kind of drop the rod and give them a second to eat it. So <clears throat> that's kind of the setup jig wise. I'll go ahead and link all this stuff down below. Um, this is the Kalen's Google Eye Jig in a 3 8 ounce. There's two colors that really Really, really like one's this shad color and I fish a lot of clear water so if you're fishing dirty water you might want to go to some with a little bit more color but if I'm fishing clear water I love this like standard shad style one and the other one I use a lot of is just your straight up gold both ones are great for me um, and a lot of the lakes I fish so I'll try to stop talking for a second so you can hear the knocker big loud knocker in these three a sounds jigs so it's just another little thing um, it's real nice for uh, you know calling fish in or a little bit something extra too so that's a setup hopefully this was beneficial for you guys because you guys always ask about the presentation and setup there's a bite Ooh. Fish on. <laughs> I like that. Look at that Elliott rod. Load it up. 
my favorite live bait rod for doing this kind of stuff. This feels like a big chunker walleye, I think. Oh yeah, we're getting good head shakes here. Oh yeah, that is just a beautiful sight for me to see. <laughs> I love that. I love fall. I love being the only guy on the lake too. That's another just huge bonus of fall fish. When you're out here catching fish like this, cast after cast on some of this deep water structure. And where is everybody? Everybody went home. It's not 75 and sunny out anymore. There's no pontoons, no jet skis. Just me, a lot of walleyes below my boat. And uh, they are hungry and they are eating suckers. And look at that Kalen's 3 8 ounce jig stuck right in the mouth. A little rattle in there. And that is just a beautiful fish right there. I love fall. They get perky, they get fat, they get hungry, and they eat jigs all fall long. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. And like I was saying, this is just kind of the start of this. Just a beautiful golden walleye there. Awesome fish. Feels good to be walleye fishing again. It's been a, a little bit since I've done some walleye fishing up here. Because we've been filling musky stuff, but they are eating. And it's a good day to be a walleye fisherman. All right, so one thing I really want to talk about, which is a total game changer, is jig cadence, right? Jig cadence is incredibly important, really no matter when you're jigging and being efficient with what you're doing so you can not only feel bites but present the bait in a fashion that fish are more likely to bite, right? So this is like our combo, like, kind of like I've talked about here. Just your 3 a ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig uh, with our sucker on there. And um, basically all I'm doing, you can make a long cast, but most of the time when I'm doing this, I'm kind of pinpointing schools of fish on some of this deep rock and I'm pitching it out, right? I'm kind of doing like a half lob cast. Definitely try to lob it out there instead of this quick chuck. You're gonna keep a lot more minnows on your hook. And you're going all the way down to bottom, which takes a little bit of time, obviously, when you're fishing at 27, 28 feet of water. And once you are on the bottom, basically what you're doing, are we on bottom? Still falling, still falling. All right, bottom. And what I'm doing is I kind of do this, this pop like this, right? And you can see I'm not lifting that rod crazy far, but I'm hanging it up high. Hang it up high, let that jig hit bottom. Dunk, watch my line hit bottom. And there's two ways to do it. With this rod, I can tell when I'm hitting bottom because I can feel it go dunk right on the bottom. The other thing you can do is watch your line. Popping it up, jig's falling, jig's falling, slack line. When your jig's falling, your line will be tight. When it hits bottom, it'll obviously slack out. And one big mistake I see guys do is they try to do either this one right here this huge lift and super uncontrolled fall, which is bad. You do not want to be doing that. Basically all it looks like is that thing's going woo and then falling real fast. Very unnatural, right? I kind of do this pop, keep my line tight on the fall. Otherwise you see guys do something that looks like this with their rod, which is like, like nothing's happening, right? <laughs> it's not coming off bottom really. It's just sitting very close to bottom and it doesn't look natural when you fish it like this. I have success fishing crawlers on jigs like this but not fishing minnows on jigs like this, right? So I'll kind of show you again here. Those are the two biggest mistakes I see guys make. They either want to do the Superman jig, where they pull it like this huge lift like this and then drop their rod. And what that's doing, like we said, it's just going whoop and then straight back down. When you do this controlled pop and then you control the fall, basically that thing's going whoop and then it's just tailing back down. And you always get those bites when that thing pops up and it's tailing back down and that's when you feel your line go dunk real hard. And that's exactly what we're kind of waiting for. So I'll do it again here. Just got down to bottom. Now I'm gonna do it with my rod I'm gonna pick it up about a foot, two feet. And I kind of do this double pop, just, I don't know, it's just habit. But a single pop like that works too. You can see I'm really only pulling that bait foot and a half, two feet at a time, right? Controlled fall. And I'm watching my line the whole time and I'm very in tune with what my bait's doing, right? Oh, there's a bite. Oh, look at that. I like that. How can you not, though? The fish dumps a jig like that not even a big one but man when they hit like that you know it's happening <laughs> it's our first like actual eater sized one 
but there you go and they kind of all get out here deep and uh kind of different on every single lake like we kind of talked about but uh you know this is kind of a rock solid pattern in many systems this time of year just get out here find yourself some big deep rock with some character surrounded by a lot of deep basin and there you go that's our first about 17 inch keeper of the day we're gonna let him go but uh we'll get him again another day maybe he'll be dinner um next week we'll see let's let that guy go beautiful northwoods walleye can't beat it anybody who says they don't like feeling a, a jig get thumped is probably lying to you so i already know i'm gonna get asked a ton of questions on this how we're hooking these things what we're doing uh jig stuff like that so this is the kalens 3 8 ounce google eye jig i'm not sure if the gopro is picking that up but it's a pretty loud knocker in there and i like long shank jigs for jigging suckers uh gives you a lot more um hook and i'll kind of show you how i'm hooking them so i'm going basically straight down through the mouth here like this and then i want to come up through the hard part of the skull so it looks something like that right there and they stay on a lot better i'm not concerned about um this thing staying alive just because i'm imparting all the action right so that's not super important to me but if you go to a short shank what happens is you end up having the ball right here and the hook right here and it doesn't leave a lot of space for that fish to like chew up the bait and uh, the way I like to imagine it is, you know, that fish comes and he chomps it however and you kind of you give him a second and they chomp it again and they kind of got it like that. When you get a real big jig and in a, in a, in a, like a short shank live bait jig, a lot of times I think you can blow that mouth out or open the mouth with the head of the jig. So running a longer shank jig is definitely what I like to do. Fish on! They're hooked up on another one. He's running all sorts of crazy around out here. Too much fun. I love just picking these deep schools of fish off a lot of this deep rock. It's just a super simple, super easy way to fish. I can tell by the way this one's fighting that we definitely got the right kind of fish on. Oh yeah, look at that guy right there. Beautiful walleye. He knows he's, the fight's already over for him. Come here, buddy. Oh, there he goes. He's digging. Come on. All right, look at that. Too easy. Been out here for about an hour and a half so far. They are biting. It is fall. I had no idea what to expect when I actually got out here today. Um, like I said, I've kind of been musky fishing, if you guys have been watching this channel. And uh, um, I have not been walleye fishing since I've had... Whoa, whoa, now he's all angry. Um, fall has just abruptly arrived. So I wasn't sure if we were going to be doing summer stuff, we were going to be doing fall stuff, what kind of stuff we were even going to be doing. But uh, look at that. Fall is here. Fall bite is on. Too awesome. Let's let that guy go. That is exciting stuff for me. All right. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. If you made it to the end, I greatly appreciate it. We are giving away a PC Fun Carbon X 2000, the tried and true walleye reel, which you guys see in every single walleye video I probably do that is not trolling. And all you have to do to win one of these, I'm gonna kind of pick a random winner, let's say a week, whenever this gets, video gets uploaded one week, and I'll throw the, uh, the uh, requirements for this down in the description too, but all you have to do is like Pissy Fun on Facebook, and I'll link that below, and you have to sub to Pissy Fun on YouTube to see their videos too. And uh, if you're not already subbed to this channel, we're gonna make it a requirement too, because you'd have to be an idiot to watch this video to the end and not subscribe to this channel. So I appreciate you guys watching. This is just kind of a quick little um, you know, early fall breakdown. Fall was absolutely sprung on us, and it's crazy how cold it is out today. Um, but I like fall. I wish fall lasted six months a year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Good luck fall fishing. Um, give this, you know, let me know what you guys think of this video. Drop some comments on what you guys want to see this fall and stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys next time.